Andrew Tucker, and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, my great people? What's going on, my boxing fans? Man, I was kind of a war, you know, between KSI and Tommy Fury. You know, KSI landed some solid shots. You know, it was very close. Kind of hard to score, to be honest with you, but both fighters had their moments. The only thing I didn't like about the fight was all that holding, holding and hitting. I didn't like, you know, uh, especially coming from KSI, Tommy Fury was also holding and hitting too. I didn't like it. It became a messy fight, you know, in a way. But I like how, you know, KSI pretty much was setting um, Tommy Fury up with the right hand. You know, he was just basically bouncing on his toes and and just loading up with with the right hand. You know, he he he, he surprised me a little bit with the jab to the head, jab to the body a little bit. I think it, you know, to set up properly, set up that right hand, you know, I think that it should have worked this jab a little better, you know, jab into the head, jab into the body, you know, sort of what Tommy Fury started to do. I think he should have started like in the first round because I'll be honest with you, I think KSI took the first two rounds, clearly took the first two rounds just um by landing more, you know what I mean? Um, and it was just, you know, he was coming wild with it. He was coming fast with it. He's very fast. You know, his timing is okay, but he's just, he's really fast, you know, loading up. He remind me of <laughs> how Wilder is with the right hand. You know, you, you, you know, he's gotten, Wilder gotten better with, uh, with, set, with countering the, using the right hand to, you know, to, to beautifully counter now. But Al Ryder was just loading up that right hand, come so fast. KS, I remind me of uh, Wilder, uh, Deontay Wilder with the right, you know, loading up the right hand. Trying to just trying to explode on you and just out of a, out of a sudden it just comes fast and and then he put you out knock you out. But um, Tommy Fury's experienced fighter no, wasn't the best performance. The you know his last fight, which which I would believe it was against uh, Jake Paul, you know, was a slightly better performance. You know, he boxed a little smarter. Um, I think he just got caught up with the the aggressiveness and the and the very uh, the aggressiveness and how wild. Um, KSI was, being how explosive he was, and just, you know, his style, you know what I mean? Um, so, I, 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 you know, I know Tommy Fury is not, you know, uh, you know, he's, he's he felt he won. His fight was very close. It could have been, could have been scored a draw, you know, split decision either way. Uh, I think Tommy, I don't know, KSI probably could have probably possibly won this fight. I didn't do a lot of commentary for this, for this event, because I'm recovering guys keep me in your prayers i'm recovering i just got off medication for i was on medication for 20 years i just got off the medication so i'm going through the withdrawal so keep me in your prayers but it was a it, it, it became a, a competitive fight in the way where they started to settle down and pick and and and, and pick their shots carefully you know what i'm saying just show display and so you know to a certain extent boxing techniques but it was kind of sort of a messy fight and then it ended up being award times when they were just being they both being explosive you know, but uh, you guys let me know who won this fight. Um, some people, some people feel KSI won. Some people feel that the, the judge got it correctly with a unanimous unanimous decision victory for Tommy Fury. Some felt uh, KSI could have won by unanimous decision or either split decision, or it should have been declared a draw. But it was a, it was somewhat of an entertaining fight, but a somewhat of a sloppy fight. You know, but you guys let me know what you thought about this fight, Andrew Tucker. Andrew Tucker, world, I'm out. Much love and respect.